every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hey you guys, I hate to start this video like this, but I'm running late to an appointment. So, as you guys know from my last vlog, I told you guys I'm going somewhere. So, I'm trying to get cute for that. So, right now I'm going to go to a hair salon I've never been before. Um, I think I've shared to you guys the stories of all the hair salons I've been to and how wrong they did me. Or, let's just, yeah, I guess wrong. How wrong they did me. So, so I'm trying to try a new place close to where I live because usually I go far for my appointment don't know why I do that but I do that so I'm trying to find something that's close and let me tell y'all I'm all I'm gonna say is this I called right because I, I don't know about y'all but I always like to know the prices because I don't want to I don't want to be like um whenever I'm about to pay so they didn't have any prices pricing online so I called and asked them because all I'm gonna do is trim my split ends that's all i want i just want to cut my split ends that's all it's probably gonna be a lot of my hair because guys the damage you get from bleaching your hair over and over again you guys know i bleached my hair a lot i started in college and i dyed my hair brown and then after that it was red for a couple of years so after that my hair is fried i'm just trying to get my hair to heal and show some love to it and trying to do as as least amount of heat i can so that's all i'm doing i'm not even gonna get um i'm not even gonna blow dry my hair i'm not even gonna do any of that because if i do that you know that's that's not gonna help my hair and my hair is still fried it's been about i'm gonna say it's been about two years since i did my red hair my hair's still fried my hair's still, still fried y'all but was it worth it mm -hmm. debatable debatable but the red the red on me was nice okay the red was awesome i will say i don't regret the red at all wish hair wasn't so fragile at least mine i don't know about anybody else's hair my hair after that went through a lot and i think anybody's hair would be like that after bleaching it for that long jesus christ so yeah i'm just on my way to the hair salon i hope it's good so like i was saying i called i called a lady and i was like how much would it be and she told me remember y'all i'm just gonna go there and get my split ends cut off that's all i'm doing like huh she's talking about um it's 45 dollars i'm like okay i know some of y'all like girl why would you spend that much money just to cut your split ends but hey if this place is good then i hope i can be a loyal customer and come back because i'm so tired of flipping hairstylists and getting new hair i'm so tired of it i really am guys i just want to find somebody stable somebody to do my hair even if it's just a haircut like i just i i need somebody stable <laughs> that's the word i'm gonna use stable i'm gonna i just need somebody stable to love my hair okay and guide me guide me through my hair journey please that's all i need so i'm gonna go i'm on my way now it's a little far it's a little far i'm not gonna lie but I'll do it. It looks nice. The place looks nice. I, I did look at the reviews. Mostly good reviews. You know. Yelp. <laughs> Team Yelp. Y'all know. Y'all know. Yelp. Yelp is awesome. I will say that when I called her and asked her, I asked her if it's okay if I come in with my hair already wet. That way it could be cheaper. But she says no matter what, it would be $45. So I just decided, girl, like, if, I'm, if it's $45, then I'm going to come with my hair dirty. And y'all can do what y'all do although i'm not i don't know about y'all but sitting in that chair hurts my neck you know when you gotta uh bend your neck for them to put the water and all that the shampoo on my, i'm like i'm like oh my god my neck oh my neck that's the only thing i don't like but it's all good i i'm excited i'll show you guys my hair when i get there just so you guys can see it before even though it's not gonna look crazy i told y'all it's not gonna be nothing crazy it's probably just gonna be my wet hair and the weird haircut because i don't know about y'all but whenever you get a haircut and you cut the edges or you do any type of cut your hair looks weird for about two weeks it, it just looks weird at the beginning is that just me y'all let me know but technically i'm not running late i'm just gonna get there barely on time but i, I didn't want to do that because i don't want to make a better person because if i like them i don't want them to think i'm not punctual you know so we shall see all right 
right, I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, y'all, I made it with one minute left to spare, so I'm gonna try to hurry up. This is what my hair looks like before. I know, nasty, I know, y'all, I know, but at least I washed it this weekend, and today is Tuesday, so it's not that bad, but it's already, it's super tangled, super, I look like a jungle, I just, <laughs> just crazy. So this is the before, and after I'm probably gonna look just wet, wet hair and weird haircut, but fingers crossed, I hope they do good. And let's go, let's go, y'all. Because I have an appointment at 11.30. All right, wish me luck. All right, you guys, this is what it's looking like before you ask, before y'all ask. She somehow tricked me into the blowout, okay? Okay, that's all I'm gonna say, because I was like, guys, when you guys see me, you guys are gonna see that my hair is wet, but as you guys can see, my hair is not wet, so she did the little blowout, and I was actually, I was actually trying to stop her, like, I saw, once I saw her grab the blow dryer, I was like, um, no, thank you, because, you know, I'm thinking that's coming more, and it was, but she was like, I'm dumb, y'all, I'm dumb, I fall for dumb things, she was like, oh, I need to blow dry it to see if I need to, um, to see how well how well she cut the hair and then that way she can see if she needs to cut more once she is done blow drying which made no sense to me but i was like okay do your thing do it but i tried to stop her so i mean i tried but i mean the total wasn't bad the total wasn't horrible the total was 60 dollars, and the service was really really good i'm not gonna lie remember i told you guys that what's it called that every time you sit in a chair you know those chairs when they're gonna wash your hair your neck is right here and it hurts well this place is bougie y'all this place is bougie I'm telling you, i've never seen anything like this unless it's just like new new chair i don't know new technology whatever you want to call it y'all the chairs the chairs for you to wash your hair it's a flat bed it's like a flat surface so you literally lay down and they wash your hair it's a perfect combination for a nap so i was happy about that my neck didn't hurt she was great the shampoo y'all know anywhere you go whenever you get your hair done the shampoo always smells great oh my goodness and she was just rubbing my head oh, it was nice what do you guys think what do you guys think <laughs> oh yeah pink <laughs> a little mm, 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 mm. okay 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 she told me to come back every four months will i do that i will try i'll try because i know that my ends are really bad so yeah so i didn't have any complaints she was really nice she was really sweet and yeah, i have no complaints about her i did get her business card and her name just in case i want to book with her next time but i really liked the place the place was nice like fancy and for 60 dollars i don't know about y'all but that's i mean i'll take it i'll take it. i will see you guys back at home i made it home so i just wanted to show you guys before i mess it up what my hair looks like Hopefully y'all can see. I think I already bent it, but it's all good. Okay, whoa, hold up, hold up. <sighs> Cause girl, what the, girl, what is, um. Okay, so she may not know how to cut hair either because what is. I love how you don't even realize that once you're in the chair. Like it just looks so good. But now I'm looking at this like, girl, cause what the girl no this is not good this is not good because we got hair all the way up here and we got hair let me let me do it i guess let me do it with the like let me do it straight maybe that could be more fair yeah see i don't know still not even hold on maybe because this part is not hold on hold on girl that's still look Girl, that's still not... No. No, no, no. Does, did everybody forget how to cut hair? Because I had the same issue with the last lady that cut my hair. She cut it all crazy. And I, and I don't have layers in my hair. I didn't I didn't ask for layers. So I don't... I don't know what. I don't... I don't know, y'all. But I don't... Listen. Well, I guess I'm not going back to her. But from afar, it looks, it looks okay. So we're just going to go off that. From afar, you can't tell because I'm walking. I'm walking, okay? 
so tomorrow i'm actually gonna get my nails done. i was gonna do it today but it's already two o'clock so i don't want to be in a rush and then by the time i leave it's gonna be traffic i don't want to do that and then i want to find a place where i can schedule i can schedule my nails and i can do it early in the morning because i don't want to do it in the afternoon so that's what i'll do i'll research today and figure out something for tomorrow um definitely gonna do fake nails i want to do fake nails i always forget what to ask for is it acrylics or shellac in you guys opinion what's better acrylics or shellac i don't know i always just go with the flow or i ask and then they tell me and then i just go with whatever they have to say i'm not too picky i rarely get my nails done as you guys can see i rarely get my nails done so figured why not get my nails done i love how they look when i have my nails done but i do use the computer a lot so it's really hard for me to type and then even type on the phone is hard so that's why i'm like eh it's all good and then i just like to do clip-ons you know just buy the nails and glue them on myself that way i don't have to go crazy out of pocket for them so but you know every once in a while it's nice so i'm really doing it for the trip that's why i just want to look cute for the pictures <laughs> i also want to get a tattoo but we'll see we'll see y'all know i don't like to speak out something unless i'm 100 percent sure but i definitely want to get a tattoo definitely want to get a tattoo this year overall when i get a new tattoo this year and i don't know where i'm gonna do it on my body but i'm excited i'm gonna do my toes myself i don't like to do my toes at the nail salon because i feel like i can do it just as well so we're gonna do my toes later i'm not sure if i'm gonna show them or not because i know people have weird fetishes and stuff like that so i don't know I don't know. I, I'll decide. If you guys see a clip of my toes, then I decided. So I decided I'm going to do my makeup, but I want to do a time lapse. Because I don't feel like people care too much about makeup anymore. So I'm going to do my makeup, but I'm going to do a time lapse. So let's go. Alright, you guys, we're gonna finish it up with some Vaseline. Bam! And we are good to go. Alright, you guys, it's been a couple hours later. I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of footage at the nail salon. We were just going super quick and got straight to it, so I couldn't really record since I do need my hands to record, so but this is what they look like i decided on red super cute the total for these nails was 55 dollars so that's not bad she did a pretty good job all right so now that i'm done with that i'm gonna do my toes i actually never ended up doing my toes because i wasn't sure of what nail color i wanted so i'm not sure if i'm gonna do red for my toenails i was thinking maybe white but i don't know still iffy about the color i might just go ahead and do blue i know it doesn't match but i don't care i don't want to match anyways and it's looking like i don't even have really any red nail polish like that i have some red up there but not really red like this so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do this blue one it's super cute simple let's do that 
All right, y'all, since I'm doing my toenails myself, I went ahead and put these gloves on because I'm not about to mess up these nails. So let's see if it preserves my nails. I'm pretty sure it should. I don't see why it shouldn't, but this is the best nail polish remover. I like to use anything that says acetone, use that, because that will really, really get the nail polish off. So I got this one at Sally, Sally Hansen. So you can find acetone pretty much anywhere target walmart so let's get to it okay quick update y'all do not use gloves if you use an acetone i did not know that it would break so my nails are fine but don't wear gloves it doesn't even work it does not work it'll break if you guys can get somebody else to do it for you or just do it before you get your nails done luckily my nails are okay but you've been warned